my new camera. Um, I'm waiting for it to focus on my face. Oh, no, there, no, still not doing it yet. There we go. There you go. So it just focused on my face. It's so awesome. That is what I've been dying for is a camera that can focus on you without you having to do anything. Because with my other camera, I always had to adjust it and then go back and look at the back to see if it was focused or I had to put something like my hand in the shot to see if it would focus. So this is pretty awesome. Um, hopefully you guys don't hear the, what you call it, um, the zoom making the noise. Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and try to do this as quickly as possible. I don't know how much battery life my camera has, obviously, so we're going to find out. Um, so, this is... This literally tastes like a french fry. Oops. Oh, no. Okay. Next, we try the original pizza shapes. Yeah, those literally taste like french fries. Original pizza shapes. I didn't get my Vegemite. Not in here. I, I, I requested it to be in the box. 
No. But, yeah, and I got the amount, but I didn't get the veggie money. Um, these are kind of hard. <laughs> um, they taste just like, they taste like Cheez Its. They kind of taste a little stale, but they taste like the Cheez It version. Salty barbecue is normally sweet. So this tastes like more like a. This one tastes more like a. a Parmesan type flavor. Okay, next. Just want to try this little candy wrapped in whatever this is. <laughs> so let's see what this is. Oh, look, this isn't like gum, and I'm about to like chew gum, and I have everything else. No, it's chocolate. Coated marshmallow jam and jam. So they have they have jelly jam in the middle of this. Oops. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Wait, not focus. That's what it looks like. Look at that. It's jelly in the middle. It's marshmallow coated. It's way too sweet, and there's too many things going on at one time. I don't think jelly, marshmallows, and chocolate belong together. It just sounds like you might as well have made like a jelly sandwich and put marshmallows in the middle of it and put chocolate. It just tastes like too much. Um, now we're gonna taste the dairy milk bar. I feel like all this is is just chocolate. No chocolate with smooth flowing caramel. Just so you know, you're gonna be in my vlog since you keep talking, so. I'm not gonna edit you out, I'm just gonna keep you in. I'm not. So this is what, this is what it looks like, right here. Okay, this tastes like a milk chocolate bar. Whoa, no, I lied. This milk chocolate tastes way different. It's got like a, a different flavor to it. Sorry about my unprofessional look. Yeah, I'm wearing a sweatshirt with, it's got a few little fuzzies on it, but yeah, it's really cold, that's why. Yeah, this tastes interesting. It's really, really sweet too. Okay. The cherry ripe, that's what is next on.
don't like it because it tastes like dark chocolate. It is dark chocolate. I should have read that. I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate. And little cherry pieces in there taste interesting. Mm. Okay. Violet crumble. I know I showed all these before. It's the way it shatters that matters. That's what it says. So, that tastes like it's dried marshmallow. Covered, the dried marshmallow, marshmallow covered in chocolate. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, but it's falling like this. See if I'm right about the marshmallow because that's what it tastes like. It tastes like a dried marshmallow. Doesn't say it's actually good though, I like it. Looks just like a um, babe roof. It's similar to a Babe Ruth. The only thing different about this, I think is the rice crisp or the wafer. Something is different about it. I forgot what's all in the Babe Ruth. But this tastes like a Babe Ruth. I'm trying to move fast. My camera's like, I'm gonna die, hurry up. <laughs> Second to last thing is a Tim Tam. Tim Tam fingers. Looks just like that. It's chocolate covered chocolate wafers. Chocolate wafer, yeah. Chocolate wafers covered chocolate. No, chocolate covered chocolate wafers. That's what these are. Or biscuit fingers. Um. Okay. This is pretty good. Last but not least. So I did not film an outro. I actually did film an outro, but I'm not going to upload that one because um, I had my son in my arms and it was a full mess because my other son was talking in the background, my mom was talking in the background, so I decided to redo it. Um, so after I did the snake crack, snack, wow, woo, snack crate box, as you can see I've been eating a lot. I filmed only because I've been uploading this video to my phone and it's taking me four hours only because every time it would be right there either my phone died or this camera died because I have not fully recorded or recorded. I haven't fully charged the battery to this camera but I have two so I was able to replace it and redo it again so finally the video that I uploaded or, or made earlier is finally on my phone. So now I'm going ahead and make this outro video and finish my review. Um, uh, I tried the 
The last thing I tried were these. Okay, I didn't mean to pull out a half. The last thing I tried were these um, gummy pythons. And they taste okay. They taste way different than our gummy bears here in America and everything. But I have to say my favorite thing was the violet crumbles. Yes, it's completely empty now, so don't think about that. My favorite thing was the violet crumbles, the french fries, because it tastes like legitimate fries. And I did like the gummy worms, um, and I did like the shapes. They tasted, they tasted more healthy than ours. Like, this definitely had like less flavor than ours, I wanna say. Um, but yeah, so I did like that um, a lot. I really do wish though that I had um, the, I really wish I would have got the Vegemite though. I'm solely disappointed because that was the main thing I wanted. So my next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to order Vegemite off Amazon and I'm going to make a review on that. So everybody's like, ew, it's gross. And some people are like, mm, it's good. So I want to know what it tastes like. Um, so yeah, so that was that. So I got it from Snake Crate. I keep saying snake. I got it from snackcrate.com and it was pretty good. So I'm thinking about should I order another one or what should I do? Anyways, so that concludes this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, comment below what you thought. Ask or make some suggestions on what country I should get snacks from next because I'm Love to try around the world. Um, if you have something you want to send me, go ahead, please. Like, I'm gonna open a PO box soon, but I don't want to like open one and then it's never used. So that's why I'm waiting until I get more subscribers and more people. Um, anyways, other than that, I don't expect things sent to me. Obviously, I would just like to know if you guys have a favorite type of candy, food, or whatever, and you're from around the world. You're not here in the U.S. Then feel free let me know because I would love to try new snacks from other places. You can even suggest that I'll buy it myself. I don't care. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed and have a blessed day like I always say and stay awesome. I took your girl last week. Now I'm trying to be her man. I don't got time for freaks because they messing up my